Brody Walters. I'm the Planning and Zoning Administrator for the City of Perrysburg. We oversee all the development in the city and this particular special project of Riverside Park. On the original plat of the City of Perrysburg back in 1816, it was established by an act of Congress. Uh, this area all along the Maumee River was dedicated for use by the public. We had taken pictures of, of local landmarks and um, this actually appeared to to mimic the historical materials very well. We've taken advantage of the incredible views that we have and installed a series of ramps to make sure that it's accessible to anyone of, of any age. One of the things that we valued in our development is consistency of materials and uh, the feel that you have as you travel along the, the riverfront. So our goal is to ultimately replace um, our older failing sections of wall with the Ready Rock to provide that consistent historical looking experience. This project was extremely cool because it got to mix in multiple different types of materials in, in, in a bunch of different settings. Whereas you've got some straight uh, walls with zero batters that were gridded. You've got corners that are less than 90 degrees. You had staircases that were going all the way down through a 50 foot elevation gone through the Ready Rock catalog as part of the design process and it seems like it truly is um, a system that offers a design solution for anything. The uh, angle where it intersects the staircase is not a 90 degree angle and uh, the versatility of the Ready Rock system allowed the contractors to make simple cuts in the blocks to have an acute angle of less than 90 degrees to make sure that all the geometry of the intersecting lines and paths met up. The makeup of what all it took to get this project completed was pretty phenomenal considering the timelines, the product, and what they were looking to uh, accomplish. This is something, like I said, that has been years in the making. This is a major hot spot for the community to gather. It doesn't matter what time of day you drive past, you'll see people experiencing the upper and the lower plaza. Uh, we've noticed uh, anything from you know, small children and strollers being pushed by their parents to uh, some of our more senior folks who have uh, parked Adirondack chairs up top. So it seems like everybody's really enjoying the view, and I'm not sure that this project in this location would have been possible with any other material.